A campaign tactic like no other. At a late afternoon football game, Barnaby Joyce brought along a face that stood out in the crowd more than his. Former Prime Minister John Howard was in town, igniting support for Mr Joyce as he attempts to reclaim the seat of New England for the Nationals. Farrah, you're playing Farrah. You're from the visiting team. Next stop was a Nationals fundraiser for Barnaby Joyce. In front of 400 people, Mr Howard spoke highly and truthfully about the man he says will fight in the interests of the regional area. Barnaby is a rare breed in politics. <laughs> he is. He's a, he's a bit of a one-off to having the opportunity at the election on the 7th of September to vote him into office. It will be to vote into office somebody who will have real influence at the senior levels of a coalition government. Mr Howard also recognised Mr Joyce for his so-called great political courage, commending him on giving up a safe seat in Queensland for a serious challenge against the now retired MP Tony Windsor. I believe that if uh, Mr Windsor had run again, Barnaby would have beaten him. But it would have been a tough fight. Let's not delude ourselves. Mr Howard also spoke on the unprecedented circumstances within the Labor Party over the last three years, highlighting the fact he feels the people of Australia are ready for change. And yet remarkably over the last three years it's been the opposition that has been united and been cohesive and been cooperative and been consistent. Yet it's the government, of course, that has been the complete opposite. The second longest serving Prime Minister received a standing ovation. For Mr Joyce, it was a welcomed boost to his campaign. People respect the way he conducted himself in that office and that's what they want to see returned. Vivian Vondranen, NBN News.